Using Caddy's AEC tools, we'll see how we can add a profiled edge to any slab we wish to create. When we create a slab, an AEC slab, we can add an edge style to it. And the edge style will come from a profile. This is the outline here that we have. It's a simple polyline, and we're going to create the profile from that. So here you can see uh, that I've faceted the uh, what would be arcs there in order to get a, a smooth, smoother curve when the profile uh, or when the edge styles are added to the slab. So this simple polyline, we can create it in a number of ways. We can add construction lines. We can type in offsets using the arrow keys. We could do parallels, for instance, at 25 millimeters. So all the usual tools that we can use within Caddy to create our polylines, and then simply drawing over using the P-line tool. So just creating it uh, and drawing around. So I've already got that here. So how do we get this and make it into a profile? Well, we simply select the polyline, right click, and go to the AEC section of the context sensitive menu, and we go to make profile definition. So we'll give it a name. So this could be edge profile one. Okay, to that, it asks us for an origin of the profile. So if we go for the top of the slab there, we'll choose the top left hand corner. Down on the command line here, we see that we're being asked whether we want any additional polylines to be taken into account. Well, we don't, so we, there's an N there, so we can just hit enter. That's our profile created. Profile. What we need to do now is define an edge style, a slab edge style, that will use that profile to attach to any slabs that we wish it to. So here we go to our drop down menus at the top. You see we have AEC there. We'll come down to the AEC style manager. Looking down the list, it comes within the architectural objects. So we look down the list and we have slab edge styles. So at the moment we only have standard. Rather than use standard, let's copy that and then we can edit it and give it a new name, something that we can recognize. And of course, by giving it a unique name, if we copy our objects into another drawing, it's not going to, to take over just the standard that would already be in that drawing. So we'll copy that. And it says copy a stand. So here we'll say edge detail one. It can be anything you like there. Okay to that, and we'll see that gets entered into the name. Then we go to design rules. And what we want to do here is we'll use it as a, a fascia. And you see we get a profile. And in the drop down list, there we have our edge profile that we, we chose there. The adjust, auto adjust to height. Now that will give us the ability to uh, adjust it to whatever thickness of slab we have. Sometimes that's desirable, other times not. Applying that, now we have that actual edge detail that we have, uh, which we can add to any slabs that we create. So we can now close that. Taking a step back, I've already drawn out a, a simple polyline here. It's a closed polyline, and we're going to use that as the outline for our slab, which is going to be the door. Now, bearing in mind that we had a 75 millimeter wide profile that we're adding to the edge of this, what we need to do is bring in the edge of our door, if that's what it's going to be, the edge of our shape that we want the, the, the slab to have the profile at edge to by 75 millimeters. So if we select our polyline here, we'll go to make, and do a polyline offset. We'll do 75 millimeters there, so you just type in whatever we, we choose. Okay, that, it says indicate the side for the offset, so just make sure I'm well in the middle, and there we have our, our polyline offset. So that again is a polyline. So here we can go to our, our slab, we can choose uh, edge detail, so if we have none, there'll be no edge detail created, or standard will just be the standard one. Here we, we created that edge style in the AEC style manager. We're going to create the profile from the polyline or circle, which we have here. Uh, the thickness is going to be 25, because again, the thickness of 25 millimeters on our profile there. And we can OK to that, indicate the profile, and there we see we have our, our door. Taking a little bit of a look at that, there we see it. If we want to, we can change the way we, we represent this on the screen with, a say, a Fong shaded view. 
And there you see we've got our edge profile creating our door. So to recap, what we did was we created a polyline and then turned that into a profile and then using the AEC style manager, attach that to the slab that we created, again using a polyline. And that gave us the finished door that we were looking for.